Thank God for those who were in attendance and Bible study. Amen. 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 Thank God for Reverend John's um, standing in for me in my absence. Amen. 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 Um, um, I would hate that we're going to miss this week. But um, we want to minister to the Neo family. Amen. And, uh, and so um, we'll pick up next week. Verses 36 through 38, I, I want to read. I want to read. Therefore, let the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made the same Jesus whom ye crucified, both Lord and Christ. Yeah. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men, brethren, what shall we do? Mm -hmm. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Mm -hmm. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Right. Repent mm -hmm. and be baptized. Yes. Not some of you, mm -hmm. but every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sin. Thus in the reading of God's holy word. I want to talk about it's time for a change. It's time. It's time. For a change. Listen, the coming of Christ, the sacrifice on the cross and the death and burial of Christ mm -hmm. is all about change. Yeah. We cannot be who God wants us to be if we never change. Right. Well, I think I just right. said something right there. Yeah. We, we cannot be who God wants us to be if we never change. Right. Matter of fact, His death and Resurrection to those who have not changed is in vain. Our only response to Christ is change. They raised the question to Peter, what shall we do? And Peter responded by saying, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. So here we are this morning, sitting in God's house with last week behind us and this week before us. Yeah. And, and, and can I get you to help me? Can I get you to help me? Can I get you to look at your neighbor? Look at your neighbor and tell them it's time. It's time for a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now look at look look at your other neighbor and tell them I know you. I know you. And you know me. And you know me. Both of us, Both of us need, to change. need to change. Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yet some of us, yet some of us struggle with change yeah. because the change is to stop being who we are yeah. in order to be who God wants us to be. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, help right. me somebody. I know, I know, I know you're in love with your bad self. Uh, but your bad self needs to change. Right. All right. All right. The change is for the remission of our sins. We cannot be saved. We cannot be forgiven. We cannot experience the gift of the Holy Ghost unless we are willing to change. Maybe, maybe I need to ask us, is there anybody up in here who wants to be changed? Oh, don't get, don't get, don't get too holy on me right now. No. I, I'm gonna need you to pull off your, pull off your halo. I'm gonna need you to put up your wings right quick, and, and you're gonna have to admit that there's some areas in your life that need some change. Like that, yeah, yeah. I know you're saved. I, I know you're singing the choir. I know you're in the pulpit. I know you're a deacon. I know 
you are an usher. I know you're a missionary, but there's some something yeah. going on in your life yeah. that you need to quit. Right? Help me somebody. Help me somebody. And I ain't talking about something you did back in 1940. I'm talking about 2016. You know? And be baptized. Yeah. Listen, listen, most of us attempt to do these, but don't really understand the magnitude of both of these. Yeah. Because when there is no change in us, we cannot show others the need to change. Yeah. Right. Listen, when there, somebody gonna get this in a minute. When there is no change in you, yeah. you can't expect others. Listen, if you still cussing, you right. can't tell other folks to stop cussing. Right. 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 If you still, if you still, if I, I don't mean to, I don't mean, I don't mean to bother anybody, but if you still on the reaper, yeah. yeah. If, if you still, yeah. Good, uh, All right. If you, yeah. Help us. If you still on the pipe, and I ain't talking yeah. about tobacco, right? Then you can't expect others to check. If you still slipping in the darkness, yeah. yeah. And so listen, listen, it's time for a change yeah. here at St. Paul Baptist Church. Yeah. It's time for us here at St. Paul Baptist Church to change. Yeah. It, somebody gonna hear this yeah. Yeah. Now, It's time for us here at 501 Blackson Avenue. It's time for us to change. Yeah. Right. It, it's time for us to stop playing church. Yeah. Yeah. And it's time for us to have a little church. Yeah. So I see three things that warrants our attention. Anybody interested? Yes. Anybody want to change? Yes. And, and, come on, anybody want to change? Yes. Now you're going to have to admit something wrong with you. Right. Oh right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the first thing, what, uh, listen, listen. We, we need to discover what it means to truly repent. Listen, 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 listen. True repentance is a threefold process. Uh -huh. Touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Not one. Not one. It's a threefold. It's a threefold. Because to truly repent, one has to listen to them, confess, uh -huh. feel remorse, that's to be sorry, and then dismiss the desire to want to do it again. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on. Did, did y'all get out three? You, you, you cannot repent by only doing one. When, when it comes to repentance, confessing is the easiest one, and yet we take our confessions for granted. We must confess our sins. Stop asking God to forgive me from all of my sins and, and, and go ahead and start naming your sins. Y'all know, y'all know, you, you, we, we, we like to pray those generic prayers. Lord, please forgive me from all of my sins. God, God, true repentance means you confess that sin. Okay, can I help y'all? If you are a fornicator, right. confess it. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Well, that means right. that means if you knock in the boots and you ain't married All right. All right. that's a sin uh -oh. so when you pray own it and adulterous confess it if you kicking it with somebody that you ain't married to. Right. You married, and who you 
kicking it with. Angel. Ain't the one you married to. Come on. Right. Yeah. Look at somebody. Y'all hit me. Yeah. Say confess it. Confess it. Confess it. If you're if you a liar, yeah. confess it. Yeah. If you're a thief, you know, yeah. stick your fingers, yeah. take yourself down. <laughs> Don't belong to you. Yes. Confess it. Anybody? All right. 
Y'all yeah, gonna y'all gonna sit down. I'm gonna have to call out some things. Uh, anybody anybody used to brag about how much you can drink? Yeah, yeah, Anybody used to brag about who you've been with? Yeah. That you shouldn't have. All right. Come on. All right. Been with? Uh oh. Going out. Yeah. Anybody brag about something you now in possession of? That belongs to somebody else? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Anybody used to brag about what a good deal you got and you bought it from a trunk and not a store? Yeah. All right. Amen. 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 What, what, what Peter is saying is that true repentance means that we feel remorse. That means that we're sorry about what we did. And to be sorry, to be sorry means that you don't like your sin nor the fact that you did. Anybody feeling sorry up in here this morning? Somebody ought to be, somebody ought to feel sorry because you didn't speak to somebody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> finally, upon confession, upon feeling sorry, your word is that you will refrain from the sin. Uh-oh. You, you, you cannot receive forgiveness when you don't plan to stop sin. Repentance me. Oh, am I preaching this moment? For my sin, but my plan is to stop sin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Y'all, 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 missing it. Y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all. Yeah. And, and, and true repentance means I'm finna give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hello, somebody. I, I'm not gonna keep doing it when I want to say to God that I'm sorry for. Right. right. Yeah, amen. Right. Amen. Right. amen. Some of us are the least have. I keep saying, I keep yeah. saying, my good friend, Pastor T.L. Garner Jr. said it like this. He said it like, and I kind of like the way he said it. And I ought to get a cosign. Uh, man, it is not that I've become yeah. sinless. All right. It's just that since I met Jesus, I've yeah. sinned less. Right. 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 Uh, somebody, because if you really repent, then uh, uh, I know you can't, some of y'all can't go cold turkey. All right. You know, you're trying to cut back. You just do fry. Praise uh, <laughs> my God. Okay, okay. You, 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 you cut back on it. And, and, and when you used to drink salt till you get drunk. Yeah. And not know where you. Now you only having two or three. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Those are my weed smokers, my weed. Mm. All right. uh, you, you're trying to cut back, so um, you're just doing weed and you're not pouring nothing on them. Y'all thought I'd run out that synthetic weed. Touch your name, touch your name, touch your name. Say, 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 Mana. Mana. 
It's trying to help me. It's trying to help me. But I'm not sure. But I'm not sure. I won't help today. I won't help today. <laughs> I understand, I understand. I, for real, I understand. So, so can I go on to the next thing? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. 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 The symbolism of what it represents. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, listen. If you miss what it represents, then old school would say you went in yeah. a dry devil and came out a wet devil. <laughs> <laughs> Baptism is seeing and acknowledging the old you in need of a change. Yeah. And then the old you must die and live no longer. Amen. So the old you is buried in the water yes. to experience your personal resurrection because anything dead ought to be buried. Yes. That, that, that's why we believe in covering one in the water. That's burying you. And then get this, the old you die. And the coming up out of the water is the new you. Oh, you cuss. The new you cuss not. The old you lie. The new you okay, lie less. The old you gossip. The new you Got to bless. Yeah. <laughs> the old you tricked. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The new you stop. Trick less. <laughs> Because we have too many old in the church and not enough new. Right. 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 Change people, please. You can't just go through the act of being baptized on first Sunday and still be hellish on second Sunday. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong. You don't have to uh, keep getting baptized because really once is enough. Yeah. But but if you have changed, uh, yet a second time won't hurt. Amen. I mean, if you ain't really changed. Yes, come on, come on. Uh, just this past week, a pastor called me. He called me concerning uh, those who want to get baptized again. He he didn't he didn't see. A need for it, and he he wanted my take. He said, "Man, I need to know what your take is." He, he said, "Because um, um, when people do that, um, I don't think that they really uh, have to." He said, "But when they do it, sometimes it starts a chain reaction, and then other folks want to do it." Mm -hmm. and I, I said, "I shared with him. I said, yes, uh, it's only a symbolic act, but if a person has been convicted because of sin." has been reigning in their life, then you ought to let them die again. Amen. But also express yeah. they need to change. Amen. Uh, you, 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 you go ahead and do it again because really and truly, the water baptism ain't going to save you. No. Right. Right. Hello, somebody. If you ain't going to change, right. somebody ought to talk back to them. Right. It, it, it's all about making a change and, yeah. and, and if, if, if they're not going to change well, uh, hello somebody yeah. they get baptized every Sunday yeah. 
Help me somebody. And, 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 and there needs to be a change in somebody's life. And the only way to really make a change is that the old you is going to have to die. I just want to ask, I just want to ask, is there anybody up in here willing to be changed? What, what does it mean to get baptized again? It simply means that I've been crucified with him, buried with him, and I want to resurrect in him. I don't care how, how long you've been in church. Church ain't always in you. Right, right, right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Matter of fact, a, a church might be a whole lot better if we get some more confessions up in here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some of y'all sitting up in here want us to thank you on your way to glory and yeah. you have done nothing yeah. since Jesus yeah. hung on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 And some of, some of our best saints yeah. are the worst sinners. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. I wish I knew somebody right, right. there. I wish. I wish I knew somebody to go because you got to understand that that in order for change to happen, the old you got to die. If you still doing it and enjoying doing it, you ain't changed. Uh oh. If you still got to go out every weekend. You haven't changed. Come on. You need to die. The, the old you need to die. The old you. I know you're in love with you. Anybody? Maybe. 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 Can we? Can, I know I need to go on. Let's go. Go on. I know I need to go on. But but can we be honest? Come on. Can we be honest for? This one time. Right. This, this, this one time. One, right. one time. Can we be? Can we be honest? All right. Yes, sir. Whatever your tailor-made sin is, mm -hmm. <coughs> it's good to you. Yeah. You right. You right. You right. Yeah. You right. I need. Yeah. I need. I need. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, it, it ain't good to you. Uh, it ain't good for you. But it's good. It ain't good for you. Yeah. But it's good yeah. to you. Somebody, when I said yeah. that, somebody fell to him right there in your uh, spirit. Yeah. <laughs> it's time yes. for a change. Yeah. Then I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here by talking about the results of a change. Peter stood up and began to preach, but Peter's sermon was all about change. Sin has to be conquered by the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified on Calvary's cross, hung, bled, and died, and whom God raised up on the third day in the morning so that you and I could make the necessary change. Yes. How do you know when you've been forgiven? You will experience change. Change. I looked at my hands and they looked new. I looked at my feet and they did too. I wish I knew somebody been cheering. I, I started to walk and I had a new walk. Started to talk and I had a new talk. Anybody been changed? He changed my mind so I could think right. Changed my heart so I could love right. I believe that the word is you must be born again. Is there anybody up in here experiencing new life in Christ? Because God is looking for some 
some change up in here. Yeah. And the results of change will help us be who God is calling us to be. Yeah. Listen, the church yeah. was added to because the people experienced change. Yeah. Their lifestyle changed. They became more interested in the Word of God. Uh, you got to read Acts chapter 2. You will discover that they showed up for prayer meetings. Uh, they fellowshiped with one another. God will change our love if we only want to be changed. Uh, I mean, if you hung out with the old crew. Why not hang out with the new crew? That's why we ought to learn how to fellowship up in here. We should see more love up in here. I used to be a hater, but now I am a lover because God changed my life. I wish I knew somebody who